just how high can your safe withdrawal rate go? Now, historically, people look at 4% as a safe withdrawal rate. This is what you can take out of your investment portfolio to fund your retirement. It's based on some really great research by Bill Bangin that basically showed that a 4% withdrawal rate has never failed over a 30-year time horizon, at least historically in the US. But if you look at all the data, you can actually find that you can sometimes, in the right environments, have safe withdrawal rates of 7 8 nine, 10%. I would not you know, necessarily recommend that in all environments, but there are environments where that's gonna be supported. I found it interesting that Dave Ramsey came out and said 8% is a safe withdrawal rate, and he thought that was just fine. I'm perfectly comfortable drawing eight, but if you wanna be a little bit conservative, seven, but sure not five or three. Now, this is gonna be very situationally dependent, and he got absolutely raked over the coals for that. But I just wanna show you some of the data today to give you an idea of safe withdrawal rates under different valuations and environments. My name is Scott Caulfield. I'm a CPA and a CFA charter holder and the founder of Sophos Wealth Management. So the first thing I wanna show you is this great chart. It comes out of Bill Bangin's research and it's updated based on some data from Michael Kitsis, who's a great financial planner advocate out there. So if we look at this chart, it is showing you 30 year safe withdrawal rates. That's the 30 year safe max. So that's gonna be our X axis down below. All the way over on the left, we see the lowest historical safe withdrawal rates, about 4.5%. And on the right, we see some of the high safe withdrawal rates historically, up to almost 14%. Now, the y-axis is going to be the starting U.S. stock market valuation. So when basically it's using the U.S. Shiller Cape and anywhere from about 0 to 30 or, yeah, five to 30. So when stocks are cheap, the Cape ratio is low. So you'll see some of those six, seven, eight single digit Schiller Capes. And when the Cape is high, it means stocks are expensive. Now what this chart shows you, not surprisingly, is that when stocks are cheap, safe withdrawal rates are pretty high. So if we look on the lower right hand side, we see almost all the highest safe withdrawal rates came when beginning equity valuations were cheapest. All the safe withdrawal rates that were over 10% came in an environment in which the CAPE ratio was under 10. Most of the worst withdrawal rates, so when the withdrawal rate was under 5%, the majority of those came when stocks were expensive and the CAPE ratio was over 20. Now there are outliers to this, not surprisingly. There are times when beginning valuations were reasonable and yet the safe withdrawal rate was still on the lower end. And there are times when stocks were expensive and safe withdrawal rates ended up being higher. Now, it's not a perfect correlation. If you actually look at the chart, it has about a, it's in the 70s is the R squared, the correlation between beginning equity valuations and what the safe withdrawal rate is. And you know, when you think about safe withdrawal rate, it's really gonna be based on two factors. One is your investment returns over time. And this model uses a 50% stocks, 50% intermediate bond portfolio. Although most of the variation in 30 year returns is coming from those equity returns. The correlation between long-term equity returns and beginning stock market valuation is extremely high, but it is not perfect. There have been periods when stocks started expensive and ended expensive, so that the returns over that time period ended up being pretty reasonable. There's another factor that strongly impacts this too, which is inflation. In low inflationary environments, the withdrawal does not go up very much over time, meaning that safe withdrawal rate, um, what you're taking out at the beginning, doesn't increase as quickly. The environments that are really challenging for safe withdrawal rates are when inflation is really high. So like think about the 1980s, that was a very challenging environment for safe withdrawal rates. So let's look at this data a different way. So this chart is gonna show you what the safe withdrawal rates have been over time, and it's plotted also with what the valuations are over time. Again, we're kind of showing you the same thing, um, but what, what I wanna show you, so the right side of this chart is the safe withdrawal rate, and the left side is the Schiller Cape, the valuation of the US stock market. 
So what we have in our blue line is what the safe withdrawal rate was, and the red line is what the Schiller Cape was. And you know, not surprisingly, you're seeing that same relationship. When the red line is high, stocks are expensive, then typically our future safe withdrawal rate is lower. When stocks are cheap, so the red line is low, our future withdrawal rates are quite high. If you're retiring when stocks are very expensive, you're gonna to want to plan on a lower safe withdrawal rate because more likely than not, your future stock returns are gonna be lower than the historical average. If stocks are very cheap, it should support a higher safe withdrawal rate throughout your retirement. Now again, we're all doing this on historical, um, historical data, so there's no guarantees in the future, but probabilistically we would say yes, a cheap stock market should support a higher safe withdrawal rate. Now I do wanna go back to um, Dave Ramsey's point of an 8% safe rate. You know, surprisingly enough, data has shown that there are greater than 50% of historical experiences. If you had a 100% stock portfolio, an 8% withdrawal rate would actually survive. The problem is when it fails, it can really be brutal. Two thirds of the failures happen before year 20 or something like that, year 22. So, you know, if you're gonna live 30 plus years in retirement, running out 20 years in is a pretty catastrophic result. Uh, but this chart does show there are times where an 8%, 10% withdrawal rate has been an okay rate. And again, those are at cheap beginning stock market valuations. Unfortunately, we are not in a cheap uh, stock market valuation today. In fact, Schiller Cape is near some of its highest in history. Uh, but nonetheless, I hope you got some value out of this video. I encourage you to like this, subscribe to my channel, check out the other videos, and visit my website if you wanna get more information about me and my firm. Thanks a lot.